Hey there guys, Fave here, and I can tell that a lot of people liked my first 50 Roblox accounts video. I mean, at the moment it has about 631,000 views, so, you know, I feel like I kind of rushed through the list so I didn't bore y'all to death. But, some of these users have really interesting backstories, and I might be going over some of these users more in depth. And one of the users I want to talk about is the second user to ever join Roblox, named QA, which first of all he has a two letter name. So forget about the fact that Roblox ran out of three letter names because everyone took all of them. This guy just has two letters, and that's QA, okay? And being the second user to ever join Roblox, there might be a longer story to him considering he joined Roblox 15 years ago. Okay, so make sure you smash that like button if you're interested in what I have to say and some of the fun facts about him. And let's go ahead and take a look at what I originally said about QA in the video. The second user to ever join Roblox is Qua. So this post from July 28th, 2006, he fixed something. He got password guest in 2016. He posted on Let's Make a Deal, trying to trade stuff, talking about Zootopia, talking trash to other users. So this guy definitely was a victim of password guessing. And for being the second user to ever join Roblox, that's pretty crazy. Now if we go on QA's profile today, they're banned forever. And that's unfortunate. But you know what? It's gotta happen, man. They all right, so first of all, I kind of did give some good details there. But there's much more to his story than originally meets the eye. So first of all, let's go ahead and look at the profile which has been banned forever. Just to start things off. This is QA. Also, his description says, I'm the QA guy. So what I didn't mention in the original video is that QA stands for Quality Assurance, and it was a test account usually used by Builderman. So QA, Quality Assurance, has four friends, 6,247 followers, and is following 15 other people on Roblox. And his status just says six. Now, I don't know what that means, but I feel like there's something cryptic about the whole thing. It just says six, I mean. Come on now, there, there has to be more to it. You can see his outfit, just pretty plain, kind of noobish, but, you know, a little mysterious as we keep looking at it. And at the time of him getting banned forever, he had four friends. Wyradu, who was, who made this sword fighting bridge game back in the day, I'm pretty sure. Ice Pools, who was known for c discovering a glitch to friend anyone on Roblox way back in like 2015-ish or so. And then a couple other people who used that glitch. Not very important. And then of course if we look at his hats, we can see that he had the last egg, which I've done a video on before, and these Tetriminos. It's called, Why Do Old Roblox Accounts Have Free Items? You can click on that in the top right corner. And he also has a Builders Club hard hat, so QA has had BC before. And of course, if you look at his badges, you can see some of this stuff. You know, he's played work at a pizza place before, he's a cashier, so QA could have been selling you pizzas at one point. And of course, there's the glitched badges that Clone Trooper managed to give to a bunch of users. Anyway, of course, they reset all old join dates to February 27th, 2006, because when they came out with the forums, that's where it started. He actually joined Roblox on June 30th, 2004, as I cited in the original video. Hasn't logged on in two years, and his ID is six. But, of course, that's just the beginning. There is much more to this man's story, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at some more interesting QA facts. So... Now that we know that QA was a testing account, standing for Quality Assurance, used by David Bazuki, also known as Builderman, you would think that after it tested out the features that needed the test, it would just go inactive and nobody would care about it. And it's easy to conclude this when his outfit is this, but actually, he was quite active at one point. He was one of the top 100 forum posters originally, and that wasn't really much to consider, considering he only had 24 forum posts. So as you can see here, here's some of the forum posts that I covered before. And one thing I forgot to mention that yes, he was a top 100 poster. It must have been very easy back in 2006 to become a top 100 poster because he only has 24 posts. And as some of you may or may not know, there were people with upwards of 100,000 forum posts by the time they got rid of the forums. And if you want to know more about the forums, I made a video about that before which you can click in the top right corner and they're back. Anyway. Let me continue to talk about this stuff. So, along with that, QA has actually played Roblox games before. And besides the badges I highlighted before, 
So let's take a look at QA's profile in 2011, okay? So as you can see here, he's still the QA guy, but if we look at his statistics, he has nine knockouts, okay? Which means knockouts are basically every time you oof someone on Roblox, which means QA has oofed nine people on Roblox before, and the only way to oof people is by going in a game. So at some point, QA was playing a Roblox game, and as you can see, his game here was called DFG SDFG. I'm sure that meant some profound, deeper meaning that I don't know about. And it's not just him randomly mashing his keyboard. I'm sure there's much more to it, okay? And 446 people at the time had visited this game. I'm going to try to guess what this stands for. I'm going to say, do fun games still do fun games? I don't know. I'm trying here. But this is the winter version of the Happy Home Robloxia, very known for being the default place in 2009-ish. And so, the description is even more profound. It says SDFGFDG, which I think that stands for Still Do Fun Games. Fun. Do games? So if we take a look here, he actually had friends throughout history. So if we go ahead and take a nice look at the dude's friends list, we can see all of these people. So on August 18th, 2011, QA had 15 friends, and these all seem to be legitimate. And here's the thing. So we have this user named SethX8. We have the one and only Clockwork, which other Roblox YouTubers have done videos about before. We have Lollipop Landrox, Super Luigi Wii, who I knew back in 2007. We have Cruxshank. Look at those abs. Man, getting fit on Roblox is very important if you want those e-girls. You have Lego Town 44 rocking the classic fedora. We have RBX Tester. Might be another test account, it seems, if these friends with QA in 2011. Let's take a look at his account. Well, he happens to be banned forever, but you know me. I always got to investigate more things. So let's go ahead and take a look. So the interesting part about RBX Tester is that he has multiple copies of certain eggs. But I'm really thinking that, um... I guess he was used to test the 2010 Egg Hunt along with QA, and he's also played some other games like Hide and Seek and Dodgeball, but forget about RBX Tester, this video is all about QA, so let's continue looking at his friends list. We have some dude, we have some more dudes here, and we also have my old friend from 2009-ish, PF2, so shout out to him, someone snatched his account recently, but you know, I'm not here to snitch on people. And so if we take a look at QA's game, even in further depth, he never updated the title or the description, but now has 10,000 visits and 600 favorites. And he created the game in 2008 and updated it in 2009. So let's see if there's anything to be found in his Roblox game here. Maybe we can discover some lost, hidden secrets that nobody knows about. Not much to see here. Just a default game from 2009. Yep. But anyway, so according to more research, after around 2012, it seems that QA had disappeared, and David Bazooka abandoned the account. And then, around 2015 to 2016-ish, QA had his password guessed by some snooping user, and ended up getting banned forever. Okay, so, another fun fact about the QA account is that if you take a look at his badges, he had the inviter badge. And back then, to earn the inviter badges, if you were making a new account on Roblox, there was a box to type in who brought you to Roblox. And if enough people put your name in there, you get the inviter badge. So one theory is that perhaps Builderman slash David Bazooki would say that QA brought him here because, of course, he was testing Roblox. Quality Assurance brought him there. And for a while, he would just use this account to test random things. So... It's also very interesting to know if we take it back all the way to 2007, August 26, 2007 to be specific, he actually had a different kind of style back then. Blue torso, light yellow skin, and some nice jeans on. At the time, he didn't kill anyone yet. So if we were to really try to crack the case open and figure out when he had murdered nine people, well, it happened between 2007 and 2011. Now, in the last four years, I've done some other stuff, but... Hey, it's not much to talk about, I mean, and there you have it. QA was a pretty popular dude, over 62,000 people viewed his profile by 2013, and 
Yeah, I mean, he had all the hats. He tested Builders Club. Pretty legendary user. And for being the second user to ever join Roblox with an ID of 6, it's a pretty interesting story overall. Let me know what you think in the comments section about the second user to ever join Roblox QA. And, you know, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. Subscribe to Fave too. Follow me on Twitter at RobloxFave. Join my fan club. Follow me on Roblox. Message me on whatever you want. And yeah, shout out to 564 on Roblox for providing me with a lot of this research. It's your boy Fave, and I am out!